Uh, hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, so I know a couple of people were asking me about uh, how I was running six power magnification. They had asked um, like what kind of peat and stuff I was using. Well, unfortunately I can't show you the all my apertures because at some point in time yesterday I lost like $250 worth of glass and another threaded peat but i used a specialty archery peat on my um evl i use a uh, raptor peat what that well it's a it's like a raptor peat uh god i hope i ain't lost the the other stuff okay so of course, this is just, I'm just gonna demonstrate. So like on um, my EVL or my EVIL, whatever you wanna call it, I run the, <clears throat> the Hamski threaded peat kit, whatever. So like with the Matthews, it's sitting right there. I'm running a six power and it's good to have like a variety. So I just went ahead and bought one of each of the colors that is used for the clarifiers. It's your clarifier codes, if that makes sense. And I've just found it easier, and I just bought one a week. They're normally like $35, and I get them from Specialty Archery. Um, only one bow of mine has the uh, Hamski setup, and that's because I got it cheap, and it works. Now, normally, I use a Specialty Archery um, threaded hood, threaded hooded peep, and I use the quarter inch for anything on the spot hog, um, the larger scope housings, I use the, uh, the quarter inch. So for six power, I'm using the strongest, strongest clarifier, which is a number three, um, which you don't, which for some reason, nor I used to be able to shoot a number one, but I don't know if my vision's just gone down since COVID a few months ago. Um, cause I used to always shoot a number one and, um, I've gotten to where I have to shoot a number three, but it's clear. And um, that's just, you know, it's all about how it fits to you. So to answer some of y'all's questions. So yeah, you'd have your peep in the bow. And um, sorry, I'm in my draws. So so here's the peep in the bow. And what it is, is you've got a piece of glass inside of there. That's your clarifier. And you got like on the hamski, you got a little re retaining ring that'll screw in there and lock everything down. Um, and if you get the hand ski, it comes, you can get them with all the different glasses and all the different apertures and it comes with a little tool. Um, oh, but dang. So I still have one of my glasses right here. So, um, this is what it would look like. Now this one right here is actually for a specialty archery. And this is an adapter to make it, uh, to make one of their standard sizes work. So this is a yellow and it's got a little piece of glass in there. Now this one right here will make it adapt to the specialty archery quarter inch peep. So if you wanted to shoot indoor and shoot like a little bit finer dot. Now I'll use this yellow with my four power lens. And this is a glass feather vision lens um, no, I'm not saying that this is what you need, um, because everybody's vision's different. Package tracking. I didn't even order nothing. What? I don't know what that was all about. I just got a weird message. Um, but no, guys, so I can make a more in-depth video on this process, but I've really got to find my other clarifiers. Say for instance, like my brother, he's shooting six power. Okay, and um, I'm shooting six power as well. Well, he is using the, uh, he's using a number two, where I'm using number three. So everybody's different. And um, if you go to a good reputable bow shop, someone that's really got a lot of uh, inventory and a lot of, uh, uh, well, say for instance, if you're local, you can go out to Reeves, outdoor center in Clayton, Georgia. 
dude out there will um he's actually got a tool so you'll hold your scope out at about the distance that you're holding your bow and there's like a eye tool and you line it up whichever hole is the clearest is the clarifier that you need so yeah that is uh clarifiers explained i know i had a guy commenting and i told him i'd make a video today explaining what that is so yeah without it indoor sometimes whenever i shoot indoor i take my clarifier out now it makes the target kind of blurry but it so you know you're normally shooting at a at a at a spot the size of a quarter it'll blow it up to look like this dip can here but it's fuzzy it's real fuzzy and i find that i get less target panic if it's not exactly clear i'm just shooting at something that's orange so i'm just looking for that orange dot or yellow dot sorry i'm just looking for the yellow dot and that's what i'm aiming for now if i want to clear it up then i'll put my number three in there and i'll actually see the the dip can and the rings i mean i can see all the defined rings so i mean you go from looking at something like we'll use this marble for example this is what it looked like without magnification and this is what it looks like with magnification now it does amplify your uh you know your movement so if you move just a little bit on the bow i mean you're you know you can be like this but this really hit this is where the weights come in handy on your bow to really weight your bow down um for me at least you know i can kind of hold steady and and it stays right there but yeah guys that's just a quick little rundown on clarifiers i know um i had some people asking about them so i'll have a better video shortly y'all have a good one merry christmas by the way